Hello and welcome to filming location B, the place I filmed my Tumblr thumbnail. Today we're going to be taking a look at this packet of Lego Minifigures Series 9. I, I got this during a Black Friday sale. And if you're wondering why it's so wrinkled, it's because somebody had went through all the packages and felt them up before me. And they I think they took out all the Fox Girls, the Pizza Guys, and the... The bounty hunters. Also the cyclist and the gamer, so. Uh, basically, uh, they took out some of my favorite minifigures. And I instead only managed to get one minifigure that I kind of wanted for an accessory, which you'll see. Take a look at the packaging. In front of it, we have the Lego minifigures logo. And we have the Series 19 bag. Limited edition 16 to collect. Well... It's not limited edition Lego false advertising. I, I don't know why they put limited edition there because it has the shelf life of an average set. So if they put limited edition here, they should put limited edition on every single set they make. Low says one Lego minifigure, minifigure, figurine, figuria, figure. It says Lego minifigure in every language under that set. Back here we have a Toys R Us tape, which I cannot remove, and yes, I have Toys R Us in my country, so... <laughs> and, uh, here we have 0-3, to three, Token Hazard in every single language, Recyclable, it was plastic, so it's still not doing your duty to the earth. And we have a barcode, uh, is there a bump code? No, I don't think there are bump codes anymore, so... Anyway, feeling works a better. Spoiler alert. Bump codes do not work. Just feel it out. Now, uh, let's open up this pack and uh, see who I got. There we go. Now that I got the package open, let's take a look. And as you can see, I got the Flamingo Woman. And that's the Flamingo Woman. As you can see, I, I bought her just for the Flamingo because I I really like Flamingos. Uh, but let's just take a look at her minifigure first. She has this leopard uh, skin print on her pants, which does go around the sides, which is very nice. Um, she has dual molded arms and a nice floral shirt design. A lot of people said that she looked like the god uh, mother from Shrek 2, and I, I kind of agree. She has a face with a, a pink purple beauty spot, which is a nice detail, and a blue eyeliner, and this beehive piece in light purple lilac. It's not a usable minifigure, okay? I can't use this in any of my settings. It's not. Stranger Things related, Jurassic Park related, Batman related. I mean, the labs I could use for Spider Man are Craven the Hunter minifigure, but that'd be like the super, the super campy Spider Man era. Forget what I mean. Comes with uh, one of these plants as accessory, they give you another one as an extra piece. I already have a lot of this pe a lot, I already have a lot of these pieces, so I don't really need them. But they are they are quite useful, so uh, that's nice. Uh, sorry, there's a pigeon tapping on my window. Uh, here we have a flamingo, and, uh, the head is made out of rubber. And so it's the body, it's kind of bendable, but the legs are, uh, hard plastic. So that's quite interesting. Let's get you a close-up look. I would prefer if the head was, a uh, white-coloured, and if the pink wasn't that outstanding. But, you know, it's still a very nice piece, and I'm still glad I got it. Because I like flamingos. And uh, she can hold onto her legs like so. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. It really helps the channel out since I'm still starting off. And since I'm just starting off, please tell me what you liked. But more importantly, what you did not like about the video. So I can improve further down the road. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.